time to spotlight Tesla. Tonight is the big robo-taxi event. You remember it was supposed to be 8-8. It was pushed back to 10-10. Alonzo Munoz is with us, partner CIO, Hamilton Capital Partners. Thank you so much for being with us. This shall be a Hollywood moment, from what I understand, at the Warner Brothers Studios in Burbank, California. What are you expecting from this evening's event? Well, great to see you. Good morning, Nicole. So we're excited. This is a make or break moment for Tesla tonight as it relates to some of the visions that Elon has put out. One of the main things we're looking out for tonight is obviously the robo taxi and autonomous driving and looking to see how they roll this out. This has been a major pillar for at least the next stage of growth for Tesla. And we're looking uh, to see how this gets implemented. I think the second piece that we're looking for are some product roadmap. So we're really excited to see if they roll out a, excuse me, lower cost vehicle. Uh, that's something that we're getting excited about. And we've heard some indications about potentially a van. So the robo taxi is going to steal the show. It's going to be a major uh, sort of uh, spotlight tonight in terms of uh, what it looks like, how many seats there are, if it's two or four. So those are some of the things that we're going to uh, be watching out for. It's at 10 o'clock tonight, so a little bit past my bedtime, uh, but it's still exciting. And we're going to be, obviously, uh, the world is watching tonight. Yeah, just to be clear, 7 p.m. Pacific, 10 p.m. here on the East Coast. It will be streamed live, according to a post on X. So we'll have a lot of this uh, futuristic stuff to you know, woo us in this evening. That being said, I spoke with Steve Wesley, a former board member of Tesla, and he said this is the moment. Um, there's obviously a lot lying on this. You do have Waymo and other car companies that have, um, whether it's autonomous driving or semi-autonomous driving, I mean, the, the idea that Elon Musk has put out is full self-driving to ferry passengers around uh, without a person and such. He certainly gathered a lot of data right, from what I understand. This is the moment. I mean, how much can you quantify in any way the data they've gotten? Can they get the regulatory approval? How real is this? Well, that's a really good point. So when we look at competitors like Waymo that already have vehicles out on the streets uh, across several cities, uh, they simply don't have the data that Tesla has. And I think that's a, uh, you know, important piece specifically that Elon is relying on is the AI infrastructure training this data. One of the uh, things that we've talked about, you know, over the last couple of months is the fact that Tesla uses uh, cameras versus sensors, uh, specifically LiDAR. And so, you know, we'll see how that plays out. They have full self-driving across uh, their fleet, it's getting better. And I think the advantage that they have is they're able to uh, bring these software updates to their fleet over the air across their Tesla network. So, you know, this is something that obviously we're all going to watch tonight and see how does all this data quantify into practical, realistic applicability of self-driving across cities and across the globe. But from a regulatory standpoint, uh, that's a great point as well. We'll have to see how state and federal regulators uh, react to having driverless vehicles uh, driving past schools and hospitals uh, on our highways. So it's, it's definitely a risk and a challenge for Tesla. But tonight, I think they're going to focus on the vision, maybe bringing us some, uh, you know, some time frames for a lower cost vehicle, the implementation of, uh, of their robo taxi. And what we would like to see is potentially some partnerships with ride hailing apps to really bring the service to market versus Tesla doing it all themselves in their ecosystem. So we'll see, uh, Elon Musk puts out uh, you know, big goals and, and he's a big visionary. So we're gonna be really looking for some substance tonight. Uh, and we, we wouldn't be surprised if the stock sells off on you know, any indication that it's gonna take longer than expected. But I think what we're excited for is, is seeing some of this technology come to light and uh, you know, its applicability, as well as some of their robotics that they've spent a lot of money on and they're leaning into as it relates to the manufacturing process uh, or the humanoid robot that they call Optimus. So there's there's a lot at play tonight to uh, to examine. And I suspect that we'll be talking about this not just tomorrow, but for uh, weeks and months to come. Yeah. Yeah. Look, on the longer term, first of all, the, with the data, so much data that they have compiled. Also, as you mentioned, partnerships, it brings to mind Uber. We know that Tesla and Uber have had a partnership where Uber drivers get a discount, I think $3,000 or something on a Tesla vehicle. Don't quote me, but that's the point. They get a discount on an Uber vehicle uh, for a Tesla, and then they will be gathering more data for a Tesla. Um, so some of that comes to fruition for Tesla. What's your outlook on the stock? I believe 
of you own the stock? Would you be buying more on the dip? It's at $238 today. Um, Elon Musk, who people love his vision, but don't necessarily love some of the maybe distractions or behaviors that they don't approve of. They want to really focus on Tesla. Would you buy in more? Do you think this stock is a winner and why? Where is it headed? So we do own it. We own, I own it personally and we own it for clients. Uh, but I would be buying it on any uh, sell off tomorrow, specifically if, you know, Wall Street or, or Main Street doesn't see, uh, you know, a, a big show tonight. But I think one of the things that's been a detractor is Elon. He's obviously very active. He runs other businesses. He's had a political leaning uh, over the last couple of months. And we've seen some executive departures. But it doesn't take away from, you know, the strength that Elon has as a, a leader or as uh, that Tesla has, excuse me, as a leader in the electric vehicles. They have a strong and growing solar and energy business. Uh, you know, they're leaning into a AI. They have a lot of data. And so that gets us excited for the long term uh, prospects of Tesla. And yeah, we would certainly be buying uh, this stock on any sell off, specifically if it sells off tomorrow post the event. But again, it's been a very volatile uh, stock to own this year and certainly over the years. Uh, if we look at the position earlier this summer, it was down 30, 40 percent. Uh, and then it's had a, a pretty big recovery over the course of the summer leading up to this robo taxi event, which frankly, Nicole, as you know, has been pushed back. First, it was October, and actually, it was supposed to be several years ago. And so, autonomous driving, I think, will we'll steal the show tonight. We'll see how far we are from uh, this becoming a reality on our streets, but it's still something that we're, yeah. we're excited. Yeah, okay. Alonzo, thank you. I mean, I heard in at least one interview where he said the cars were driving um, for days without incident. I believe it was in Austin, Texas, and one other area. So he has said that it's there, but let's see what he says now. Alonzo Munoz, Hamilton Capital Partners. Thank you. Good luck there, Tesla.